Hello, good day everyone. Well, we find ourselves in the first week of November, well into the fall and the start of the holiday season. I love this time of year, the cooler weather, leaves turning color, and planning for Thanksgiving. When we hear the word Thanksgiving, I expect most of us think of Thanksgiving Day and what that day means to us. Family, friends, food, football, <laughs> While this is all true, and it's good, at its heart, Thanksgiving is meant to be a time for thanking God for all he has given us. Take a moment. Think about what do you thank God for on Thanksgiving Day? For Marlena and myself, we thank God for our family and for our friends. We're thankful for our country and our freedoms. We're thankful for the love that God has for us that he's given us freely through his son, Jesus Christ, who sacrificed himself for our sins and opened the way for us to be adopted into God's family and live with him in eternity. As Marlena and I prepared this devotional, we considered what we're grateful to God for. And as we did that, we recognized the Lord's abundant generosity he loves us and, gener and generously provides for our needs. As followers of his son, Jesus, we're called to do the same, to practice abundant generosity with the time, the talents, the resources, the love, all of which God has given us to give to others. The Bible is full of stories of God's generosity, such as 2 Corinthians 9-11. You will be made rich in every way, not so you can spend more, but so that you can be generous on every occasion. The Apostle Paul is encouraging the believers in Corinth to share their abundance with the believers in Jerusalem who are in need. In encouraging the Corinthian church, Paul reminds them the source of their abundance is God. Now he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will also supply and increase your store of seed and will enlarge the harvest of your righteousness. 2 Corinthians 9.10 As followers of Jesus Christ, generosity is to be part of our everyday life. Our generosity, helping and supporting others on every occasion, is part of living out our faith, obeying God, this type of abundant generosity shows the world, and especially those who do not know Jesus Christ, his grace and mercy and his love for us all. The Lord blesses us as we obey and practice generosity on every occasion. On our own life experiences bear these blessings. Practicing generosity in our day-to-day -day lives can help us with our mood, our health, mm -hmm. our stress, relationships, and most importantly, with our faith and our relationship with Jesus Christ. Yes, we do need to live within our means, but do I really need to go shopping and buy another blouse and fit it in with my other 20, 30 blouses that cram in my uh, closet? Does John need the latest TV, a bigger TV, or that power mm -hmm. tool that he already has? or the current phone? Can we use what we have to share, the clothes and things we have and do not wear or use for other people? Can we give more of our time to be intentional in serving others in our homes, our communities, and the whole world? There are many opportunities to grow our generosity to others through the use of our time, talent, resources, and our love. Our church, Centerpoint Community Church, is focused on serving others in Jesus' name. Consider becoming part of the many Centerpoint ministries serving our church and communities. God makes us rich in every way by trusting him and using his gifts, the money, the materials, the talent, all for his glory. I know Marlena and I are so very blessed by God whenever we use these gifts for his glory. Remember, now he who supplies seed to the sower 
and bread for food will also supply and increase your store of seed and will enlarge the harvest of your righteousness. You will be made rich in every way, so in every way, not so that you can spend more, but so that you can be generous on every occasion. Thank you for listening. God bless you, your family, and your communities.